All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So a new campaign has finally begun on the global side of the game. And while I haven't really checked it out yet, I'm not really expecting any major surprises, you know? Although there is one thing that I'm really hoping to see when we pop into the news. And that of course is the Extreme Z battle for Kale and Khalifla. Okay, so let's uh, just jump in here and see if that's gonna be a thing. Now, if it's not, if we don't see it there, I'm not gonna be that upset. I do think that at some point during this month of December, we're gonna get it. If it's not now, then definitely during the actual Christmas celebration, but of course it'd be better if it was right now. So uh, here we go. It's called the Glittering Hope Prelude to Christmas Campaign. Uh, various Christmas events are here. Come obtain awesome rewards, including Dragon Stones and Xmas Candy Cane through login bonuses and missions. On top of that, new SSR Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta will show up in the Tokan Festival. Of course, that's the Blue Boys. And in addition, don't miss out on other events, including a new Dokkan event and the 26th Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. Okay, so I'm worried as they don't talk about Extreme Z Battle, which uh, pretty much means we're not getting Kaelin Kaliufla. Like I said, though, it's going to happen at some point this month. It's gonna happen some point this year, okay? So don't uh, don't freak out, guys, it's okay. Uh, come join the event and get ready for the upcoming Christmas season, okay? So first things first, we have a login bonus. We got the Egyptian God of Destruction, one of my favorites. Honestly, I forgot her name though, but she's cool. And uh, Rubrian's okay too. We also have the uh, special missions with my favorite angels, uh, Vados and Margarita. We have a triple success rate for training. Amazing. Obviously, the main thing anybody's looking forward to for celebrations, training success boost. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. And so we also have triple rank EXP from Quest. All of the Extreme Z battle events are open. So if you guys are newer players or you missed some in the past and you didn't want to use keys, um, this is actually a very good opportunity to farm a lot of stones because each of these Extreme Z battles give you 30 stones plus extra stones from missions, right? So uh, yeah, that's going to be awesome for anybody that hasn't been playing for a long time. And uh, we also have some Dragonstone sales. Um, I'm hoping they're decent, but honestly, I'm prepared for just like maybe one 32 stone pack and like three 91 stone packs. I'm guessing they're going to save their really good sales for maybe Christmas. We'll have to see. But yeah, don't expect too much from this sale. And uh, now there's the Dokkan Festival for the Blue Boys, and there's also the new Krillin, and Beerus is on there as well. So what I'm thinking is it's going to be exactly the same banner that JP had, right? So it's going to be Blue Boys, Krillin, uh, Beerus, LR Go Bros, and then a bunch of like really old Dokkan Fest units, like the Transforming Vegeta, Transforming Goku, Int UI, STR Jiren, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and who else? Uh, Int Angel Golden Frieza. I think that may be it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty rough banner. We talked about this. Pretty rough banner. Now, I'm not saying that the older units are necessarily bad. Like, the Transforming Vegeta is actually a very good unit. Uh, STR Jiren still has its uses. SSB Vegeta is still good. It's just they're old. They've been featured so many times that a lot of players are not going to need them anymore, right? So, uh, yeah, summon at your own peril. I did make a video talking about whether or not I think they're worth it, so feel free to go check that out if you guys are a little bit on the fence at the moment. Um, we got the all-out struggle uh, category, category banner, of course, for the new category led by the LR. And you guys know, as I always say, stay away from category banners. They're not worth it. It's your stones, so you're free to do whatever you want, but uh, it's a very bad idea to summon on these banners, okay? We got the Elder Kai banner, the Dokkan event for the LR Blue Boys, as well as a new virtual token ultimate clash. Now, this one might be the one that gives us new enemies, you know, with the Golden Frieza as the final boss, as opposed to Jiren. But I feel like if it was, they would have said something about that. So maybe not. I mean, it says new battles, but I'm pretty sure it says new battles every single time. So I'm thinking we're still gonna get Jiren and maybe for the next one, we'll get Golden Frieza. We'll have to see, but that's dropping tonight as well with the, uh, with the banner and all the other stuff we just talked about. Uh, what else? We have the new stages for the Magical Girl Fighters event with the free-to-play 
uh, Kakunsa and Rosie, and they both get Doken Awakenings, and they will eventually get Extreme Z Awakenings too, but uh, probably not for a little while. Maybe in like a couple weeks, when the actual Christmas celebration starts. And then we have two uh, story events coming back, the Bardock event, as well as the uh, future Gohan and future Trunks story event. And this event, I've said this a lot, but I just want to make sure people are aware. Stage 2 allows you to farm the 2 times gravity chambers, and you can never have enough 2 times gravity chambers. So make sure you farm the crap out of stage 2 of this event, okay? And uh, what else? Oh, we have all of these Dokkan events available every single day now. Oh, okay, so I'm not sure why these ones are also available. Does that mean they're going to be on the banner? Or am I missing something? I feel like I might be missing something. Okay, if I am, let me know in the comments, but dude. Oh, maybe it's just because they fit with the theme, but these guys don't though. But these guys don't fit with the theme of the celebration, so... Yo, are they going to feature Int Future Gohan? If they do, yo, that's going to increase the value of this banner by a ton for me, man. I really hope so. Yo, swap out like Transforming Goku for Int Future Gohan and swap someone out for him as well. I mean, he's rainbowed for me, actually, but he would actually make the banner a lot better for most people, right? So, um, we'll see. I don't want to get too excited because I don't necessarily think this means that they're going to be on the banner, but uh, it gives me a little bit of hope. But once again, I still expect the exact same banner as JP. But this is this is interesting. Now I wonder why these guys specifically are gonna be available. Like the, these events are gonna be available every day as well. Hmm. Anyways, um, more story events coming back. Uh, obviously, the Universe Six events as well as the three uh, Tournament of Power story events too. So if you guys you know haven't farmed all the free to play units or into farm like Android 18s and 17s for your other 17s and 18s. Uh, like for their super attack, then um, this event is really good for that. And uh, this event also allows you to get uh, exclusive Universe 6 unit uh, skill orbs too. So that's good to farm. But uh, wow, okay, so it looks like that's the entire campaign. It's a bit of a small campaign, right? It's a bit of like a short campaign. I was expecting a little bit more. I mean, I was mainly expecting that Extreme Z battle for killing like a Leaf Love, but... Once again, it's coming guys, alright? Definitely for the Christmas celebration. I'm gonna call it right now, 100% it's gonna happen. And so uh, we'll take a quick look at the uh, login bonus. I'm assuming just one stone a day. Yes, one stone every day. It ends on the 13th though, so that's probably when the Christmas campaign is gonna start. And then we have the missions. Um, one stone per day from the daily missions as well as a couple stones from the limited missions seems pretty standard to me candy canes are great though the candy canes give you a lot of xp um so in total we're getting 25 or 24 dragon stones from the missions and it looks like that's that's the campaign guys yeah i was expecting a little bit more i'm a little bit disappointed i'm not gonna lie but hopefully they're saving all the big stuff for for christmas you know the extreme z battle um even like a new explosive chain battle would have been nice. Is it too soon for, for a new explosive chain battle? I don't think so. It's been like a month since the last one, no? So I think they could have given us an explosive chain battle for this, but eh, it is what it is. And uh, of course, all the Extreme Z battles available. So for all of you who haven't finished all of them already, then go farm your dragon stones. And uh, guys, that is all I got to say for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will be streaming my summons for the Blue Boys as soon as the banner drops, so stay tuned for that tonight. Um, it's actually coming in about, let's see, it's like 7.30 right now, so roughly, quick maths, like five hours? No, seven hours? No, six hours? About six hours, okay, so be there if you wanna see that. If not, it's okay, I will be posting the video after, so either way, you guys can see me get the shaft. And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys like today's video, make sure to like, the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out